Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys a hidden gem today, and we have an absolute monster for you guys, and I haven't brought you a hidden gem in a while, so I'm very excited to do so. So we do have the left mid from the SPL, who does play for Celtic. We do have Giorgio Samaras, the Greek. Now, as you guys can see, his face card stats are pretty unbelievable, but once we do get to his in-game card stats... Um, you guys will understand why this guy is a hidden gem. So let's go ahead and get to the face card stats. 83 pace, 73 dribbling, 64 shooting, 34 defense, 66 passing, and 71 heading. Now, as you guys can see, he is a left forward, so we did convert him all the way from a left mid to a left forward. So you had to go to left wing, and then we finally got to left forward. So that is why he cost me a few extra coins. So he is rather expensive. Uh, once we do go in here, 3,800 coins. Um, you know, he's not a left mid, so that is why he costs more expensive. But if you guys do buy his left mid card you should be able to pick it up for around a thousand coins and he is a very solid left mid so three star weak foot and three star skew moves but the most important thing is you guys can see is he is six foot four tall that is absolutely unbelievable he looks so big on the pitch he is absolutely massive and towers over literally everybody even the center backs that I played against and he was an absolute monster so he did score 10 goals in 11 games for me but the thing here is that he did score two own goals as well uh, meaning that when he did take shots, the other team scored own goals for him. So technically, he should have 12 goals in 11 games, which would make a really nice goal-to-game ratio for him. Um, but you guys will end up seeing that in the goal, and I'll try to point them out as well because his name actually doesn't pop up at the bottom, and I didn't leave the fact um, that it does say an own goal in there. So let's go ahead and look at this. His some of his in-game stats. 76 ball control, which is pretty good. 77 dribbling, which is very good, all things considered that he is 6'4", um, you know, and he has 83 pace, which is very good as well. 76 shot power which I definitely believe is much better than that um, you know when you get it on his right foot he's an absolute monster once again guys six foot four tall right footed so that is his strong foot high attacking work rate medium defensive work rate which isn't too bad um, he plays some great defense as well and once again three star weak foot and three star skin moves this is where he stands out though 87 acceleration and 83 sprint speed a very good player very tall once we do get to the goal portion you guys are going to see how he actually does tower over everybody and how big he actually is and then Acceleration is definitely something key to this player's game. Now, I did move him up to a more attacking area because I do believe he is an absolute beast. Now, as you can see, he does get right in front of the defender, and he's going to slot this one away on his strong foot. It's definitely better than a 76 shot power, if you do ask me. Uh, but he is just literally a god, guys. He is so good, so fun to play with, and he can just do whatever. This is one of the own goals, as you can see. He basically did all the work. Um, unfortunately, it just did knock off the goalkeeper right into his defender's leg as one of my players was trying to get a header on the ball and uh, actually went into the goal. But he actually did most of the work. Um, his strength is really good. He's very tall. Look at how big he actually is, guys. Um, he's just an absolute monster on the field, and he is just huge. Six foot four tall, like I said before. Look at the sprint speed. Look at the ball movement, and look at the ball control. Nice, calm, and composed, and can slot that one away to the, to the bottom right-hand corner or to the right side of the net. Now, he can just basically do everything. He does have the three-star skin moves, as you guys are going to see right there. Once again, another own goal right off the ankle of his defender. Uh, but I want to show you guys some skill moves right there. Those were the only two own goals. Everything else was pretty good and uh, was all Samaris all day and all night. He was just fantastic. There's nothing more I can say. Uh, this guy can link up with a lot of cool people. He can link him in a Greek squad. You can link him in an SPL squad because he does play for Celtic, um, which is absolutely cool. So as you guys can see, once again, on his right foot, which is his strong foot, the weak foot is the left foot. Um, he is very strong. He gets out in front of everybody. And he's very calm, very composed, and his finishing is absolutely excellent. Uh, scored that goal in extra time for me, actually, which was cool. Here's a great example of his acceleration and uh, his sprint speed. And he is so... I, I just can't describe him. He is so much bigger than everybody on the field. Um, he just demands the ball. Unfortunately, I don't play when where you can actually cross the ball in, so I can't really judge um, how good his heading is. But how good his heading is, excuse me, guys. But I'm sure it is absolutely monstrous. Um, I do believe I might have scored a corner. I mean, look at the ball control on that. That is an absolutely unbelievable goal from somebody who is six foot four tall with that type of ball control. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I scored a header. He did have a few chances uh, because he is much taller, as you guys can see, um, than most of the people in the game. So he is just an absolute beast, guys. Go ahead and try him out. Stick him at left mid or do what I did. Pay a few extra coins and put him at the left forward or the left wing position. I definitely think he will do 
he will do wonders for you guys. He is an absolutely phenomenal player, and it was really funny. Um, actually, somebody commented on one of my squad builders in the recent days uh, that I should actually have put him in there, and surprisingly enough, I had him as a hidden gem for you guys. So go ahead and try Samaris out. He's going to be absolutely excellent, guys, and uh, let me know in the comment section below how he plays once you guys do. But thank you guys for watching so much. Definitely appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, and make sure to leave any more hidden gems you guys have found in the game, and I can do a little bit of a review on them, and I give you guys some points, pointers, and tips. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, guys, this has been Urso, and have a good one.